we're finally here. It's only January 28th, no big deal. Only like three days left in the whole month, but I said I was gonna get it to you before the end of the month, so there we go. We'll make it work over time, we'll grow and it's gonna feel good. We're gonna do it together. to Exalt Expo where I present to you the best collection of innovators and thought leaders because I believe attention is expensive. I review the best content the internet has to offer and have designed an exclusive compilation designed for those who consider themselves content connoisseurs. I'm Joe Clark, your designated curator, and in today's video, I bring you Gary Vaynerchuk and the Hassan Minaj who has a Netflix comedy special out right now, Homecoming King. If you haven't seen it, it's dope. Probably the best one I've ever seen. Make sure you check it out. What this is, is me documenting uh, my process, documenting over creating, what that looks like. For anybody who doesn't know, hopefully more people will know soon, is Exalt Expo, which is a outlet for Exalt, uh, a content production video editing lifestyle something I don't know what it is ask me later ask me in a year and I'll probably have a much better idea ask me in 10 years and I'll probably know exactly so my intent isn't just to introduce you to captivating ideas and thoughts but to introduce you to great speakers and to great channels as well uh, so you can think of Exalt as kind of your megaphone, right? Your amplifier that is taking what people are already doing and blasting it out even more. So in this video, I'm about to show you, Gary asked Hassan a simple question that he just knows that he's gonna be big, right? That Hassan is just gonna blow up. And Hassan immediately responds with like, hey, I don't even like that question. I don't get that question. I don't like answering that question. And the way that he articulates his response resonated with me so deeply and the only way that I can articulate it back to you is by telling you a short story where when I was being uh, recruited to play in college uh, the recruiting staff that brought me in ended up getting fired and the new coach comes in and he's doing his rah-rah thing and he has every player come in one by one into his office and he has them write down on a piece of paper their biggest fear I wanted to make a good impression so I thought about it deeply and I looked kind of into myself and I wrote down on that piece of paper that my biggest fear was being successful. And he was baffled by that answer. He didn't understand it, he couldn't get it, he thought I understood the exercise wrong and I was like, no, my biggest fear is being su successful beyond measure, beyond levels that I feel comfortable imagining for myself. And the reason why he couldn't get it is because for me, it revealed such a deep insecurity that I had that if people looked up to me, that if people thought more highly of myself than I thought of myself, that I would be exposed, that they would consider me a phony or a fraud. And for somebody whose whole life is built on pride, right, who is taught from their parents at such a young age that like pride is like your number one asset, that's your biggest fear, right? Coming in second, losing, having a bad mark on your reputation, right? Something against your name, right? That's like, that's like having the scarlet letter. And when you're in that place, you'll do anything at all costs to one, either avoid losing, right? Which stops you and cripples you from even participating or you'll be in such a place where you'll do anything by hook or by crook halfway like scam artist right just to prove to people you'll have up such a facade to show people that like nothing's wrong right that you're in a good place and oh man what a what a debilitating like miserable pl miserable place to be in where i know i've talked to people and i know so many people have been in that same place and i'm so thankful that as I've started to become self-aware of that place, that I've really been freed from that place, 
in my own heart, in my own mind, in my own life, where I'm no longer debilitated by that. And really I have such an opposite outlook where I own my losses, where I love the process and I'm not results driven and result oriented. And if I think that, you know, I'm gonna re meet resistance along the way, that it doesn't stop me from, you know, pursuing that. And it's so crazy because I feel like truly naturally, I have such a tendency for the fight, right? I love the fight, I love the process, I love the grind, but yet at the same time, I've been groomed and I fight, you know, the temptations and the insecurities of the way that I've been groomed by, you know, just society, family, cultural, school, pressures, sports, pressures, right? That you're not supposed to love losing. You're not supposed to uh, uh, pursue right like something that could potentially expose you right you're supposed to hold your car you're, you're supposed to hold your cards close right you're supposed to keep your head low right and you're not ever supposed to over leverage yourself or take any you know uncalculated risk or anything like that and it's been so freeing to finally be in that place in my own heart and mind where i love grace where i love mercy where i love and expect uh, to make a mistake and learn from it and grow and get critiqued by those around me who care about me who love me and Be better off for it So what am I saying here? I'm saying love the process I'm saying don't be results driven and I'm saying own your losses They're your losses and nobody can take those from you Learn to love grace learn to love mercy learn to love to make mistakes Learn to love criticism. Learn to love feedback. Learn to love all these things that are life. I hope you guys liked the video. You really think you're going to be big time, don't you? N Tell I, the truth. No, no, no. It's Tell me the truth. It all depends on how hard I work. But you, but you do intuitively feel it. I'm serious right now. I, I want to have this conversation with you. But the thing I don't like about that question. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, the, the, here's what I don't. I'm fun excited. I fundamentally don't like about that question is. All of these things are predicated on when I get the Netflix special, when I do this. No, 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 no. You get to do comedy. The set I get to do tonight at 7.20 p.m. is the win. Dude, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a doc, I won, period. I get so it. So it being predicated on, so you're gonna be really huge. You're gonna yeah. be bigger than yeah. X. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. To me, it's just been about the work. You're in house money full time. Full time. As long as Bina and my family were good, then yeah, we're good. I totally get it, man. So, so yeah. So like to me, putting it on those things, I I want to maximize my ability. I understand. So the the challenges are: can I turn around my next hour instead of within three years? Can I do it within a year and a half it. and have it be as good? I get as it. Well? That stuff. I don't want to own the Jets. I want to try to. Yeah. There you go. I get it. Yeah. 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 I get it so much. Yeah. But. So I hope that resonates with you as well. Uh, if nobody's ever giving you the permission to fail or make a mistake, I'm giving you your permission to fail, make mistakes, stretch yourself, uh, challenge your thoughts, uh, be challenged, be willing to be challenged, and, uh, and live in that place of humility, right? That's all it is, is humility. We all think that we know what it is and we try to say that we are it, but when you're faced with with challenge, with your, when you're faced with resistance, with critique, how do you respond, right? Do you respond with humility or do you, or do you respond with pride? Thanks for watching. That's our time, guys. Please, please, please feel free to leave any feedback uh, in the comments. That sounds weird. Um, but nonetheless, feel free to reach me, message me, Facebook me, Instagram me. Reach me by any way that you think you know how. You guys are smart people. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, you can find me on our Facebook page, Instagram. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. I tell you subscribe later, but I'm going to tell you that you might miss out on the next great video, the next viral video that's going to go crazy, and all your friends are going to know about it, and your whole life's going to come crashing down. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, subscribe now.
until the next time be intentional with your attention uh if you need videos in between time check out the exalt playlist of exalt favorites where i put a lot of videos on there that i'm not going to do a deep dive like this one but they're great videos full of great content and kind of add a little bit of an extra layer a little bit of an extra flavor and complement a lot of the videos that i'm going to be doing a deep dive to So at the end of every episode, I want to do a little bonus segment with you guys, whether that's a quote of the day, verse of the day, word of the day, um, song of the day, uh, something of that nature. Today, it feels only right to share something that's near and dear to my heart, uh, a cornerstone verse for Exalt and everything Exalt oriented, whether that's Exalt Expo, um, music, video editing, anything like that which is Psalm 34, three that reads, glorify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together.